In this video, I'm going to introduce you to how to play a G major one octave scale on the cello. A G major scale is very similar to a D major scale, which is what you most likely first learned on your instrument. For a G major scale, we are going to be starting on our G string, which is our third string over on our cellos. A, D, G, C. In G major, we say in our key signature, we have one sharp. And this sharp is right on our fourth line. Good burritos don't fall apart. Fall F sharp. So what this means for us is that in this, for us on the cello, we're just going to be using our regular finger thing pattern. We're going to be using first fingers, third fingers, and fourth fingers. So before we look at it on the board, let me just play it on my cello. So I'm going to be starting on the G string and adding my fingers, going note by note until I reach my G on the D string. So I'm going to start with G. First finger A. Third finger B. Fourth finger C. Now I go over to the D string. No fingers. D. One finger E. Three fingers F sharp. And four fingers G. I'm going to play that one more time all the way through. If you're playing along with me, go ahead and try it out. So we start with G. And depending on your choice through the music in front of you, sometimes you would repeat your top note and then go back down, and sometimes you would just get up there and then go immediately backwards. So let's repeat it and go back down. So G, F sharp, E, D, all four fingers over the G string, C. of easy to be able to find that G. Okay, third string, bottom line. Second string, middle line. Top string, top line. Um, so it kind of helps out to look for those points where you find your strings on your music staff. So here's G right there. And so of course we start on G and then we go up one note into that next space. G up, add a finger, A. A up into that next line, B. B up into that next space, C. And then we know our D string notes, so we know that this is D, E, F sharp, and G. Right there. So that is our G major scale. Sometimes I find it useful, especially when you're going backwards, to make me put a reminder over that fourth finger C right here, or a reminder to switch strings when you go over to that D and put a zero over that. Okay. Let's go ahead and play it one more time all the way through together. We're going to go from the bottom to the top and right back down. We will not repeat the top note. Okay, fingers over your G-string. Make sure your elbow isn't by your body. Make sure it's up in the air. Ready? G. <laughs> That 
is a G major scale for cello.